Hello and welcome to our Let's Play of Terraria, everyone. It's a new patch. It's update 3. 1.03, that's right. We got new items. We got all that good stuff. And uh, so, yeah, me and, me and Alex have just been gathering all the new stuff and uh, having a look at all the new features and stuff, which we shall uh, reveal to you. Um, but first, I'm going to go find Alex. We were working on a project, and we'll see how he's getting along with it. Here we go. I got my rocket boots thanks to Alex, of course. Oh, wow, man. Whoa. Are you done? Holy shit. Yeah, I'm done. Read the signs. Oh, you put down signs. <laughs> Utilizing my resources. Yeah. Oh, good job, man. So, yeah, we were working on a project, which is this uh, gnarly tree here. And uh, where are you, man? Are you at the top? Whoa! Oh, dude, this is awesome. Take off the like. Well, just I made it accessible to where you can just jump everywhere with one jump. That's great, man. So this is so yeah. We made a new world for the new patch because we you know we thought well we're making a new world that'd be cool. So oh, that's great, man. So yeah, this is our treehouse, guys. Hope you like it. Um, some of you might even see it. Um, yeah, we just thought we'd create something new for the new patch. It's all well and groovy. We've got our dryad in there, and we've got our demo man. I'm not sure, um... They're having a date. Yeah, they're having a date, you know. Although she slammed the door on him. So... Oh. There you go, dude. Ha! What a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Made a library, floating book. These signs are supposed to say something. I don't know why they don't. Yeah, they don't say anything for me. Oh, no, you, when you right-click in them, with you. Okay. Oh. oh, okay. Floating book center. Nice. There we go. To the ah, you're... home. Okay. And the signs down here should say something and stuff like that. That's awesome, man. Home of the dryad. So, yeah, it took us a while to do all this wall and stuff, as you can imagine. It took us ages. <laughs> it it did. It. We wasted so much wood. We did not. Yeah. I made the top big. I was like, I'm going to make this tree, the giant head thing, big. Yeah. And we were putting in the wall, and we needed scaffolding with more wood, and it's just hectic. Mr. Boom lives here. So yeah. Good stuff, good stuff, man. Well done for that. Oh look, there he is, there he is, there he is. The mining, the dead miner, guys, there it is. He's like bloody went... Sasquatch, isn't he? He's the Sasquatch yeah. of Terraria. <laughs> Feels <laughs> like it. Said. Oh, firm! So yeah, he's he's the demon miner, guys. Look out for him. He's a new mob in uh, in patch 1.03. There There's he is again. There he is again. There's Sasquatch. Can we Die. kill him? Can we kill him? He drops nothing. Nothing. Oh. So yeah, the uh, little miner dude that pops up now and then, he drops nothing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to drop like platinum. Nah. It's a nice little touch though. So yeah, I think we th we think this demon miner on the left here, the dead miner, sorry, dead miner, not demon miner. I think he's there to kind of point out to you bits where you could explore. And that's a really that's a really good idea because you know he pops up now and then, and he shows you where you could go if you wanted to. Oh, he's coming here! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, dead miner. What, what is that? What, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a skeleton. Okay. So that's a new animation for the skeleton, guys. <laughs> Ow. Hey, guys. So uh, in update 3, uh, apparently some new armor in the jungle biome where we are right now. And uh, Ale Alex is wearing some of it. So that's good. We managed to find a couple of bits in a few hours. So that's not bad. So what, yeah. does, what does the armor do, Alex? What's it it regenerates for? your magic. It's an upgraded version of the meteor suit. So with the, more defense, basically. So an upgraded version of the suit I'm wearing right now. That's pretty awesome. And I've but um, it was it was cobalt armor, and you found cobalt ar armor the exact same way you find jungle armor. He just basically removed the name or changed the name and changed the look of the armor that's to match sweet, more the, uh, the biome. That's pretty cool. So, was there anything else you could find in the jungle biome? I'm not sure. I think they just added the jungle armor, pretty much. Which is the cobalt armor. Yeah. I don't 
You yeah, guys well, should come help. Yeah, we're still looking for the new caster items that's supposed to be in this patch, but we haven't found any. So uh, we'll probably have you guys come in our server and uh, help us look for it at some point. We'll uh, stay posted on... Uh, I'm actually going to say go on my Facebook, guys. Just look for Realist Review or it's the bottom link in the sidebar of my channel. Just go on my Facebook, leave a comment that you're interested in, and uh, I'll get back to you, basically. I'll leave you a message, whatever. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start uh, doing, like, uh, groups on the server. But anyway, yeah, so this is Jungle Biome, and there's, like, new armor and stuff, so check it out. Yeah, so... Oh, we'll put a link oh, in the <laughs> bottom of the we'll, to the forum post where it has a list of like everything that's changed it, changed it on the server. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so just click the link. It's it'll tell you the um, all the update list changed and stuff because we can't seem to find anything really too intriguing. Yeah, we'll leave you a link in the comments bar, guys, so you can see what the updates are and stuff. And uh, we'll, you know, we'll cover some on the surface, but it's a bit too hectic down here, really, isn't it? I'm, I'm out of potions. I'm gonna die. All right, let's let's get out of here, shall we? Okay, so what else new have we got? We got black lenses. We must have killed about a million eyeballs. We've yet to see a black lens. They uh, they seem to be a pretty rare drop, don't they, Alex? They are pretty rare. Blood Moon and everything, we didn't get one. Nope. Sunglasses as well. Can't make it. No black lenses, sadly. Um, we got some rare and secret items, guys, but as you heard earlier, we didn't find any. So we're going to need you guys to help us find them. So sign up on Facebook and stuff, and uh, we'll let you know the details uh, when we're going to open the server to our friends. Um, let's see. Stop doing that. I'm trying to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to see what new, new and exciting things we have in the world of Terraria. We got uh, a, yeah. they fixed a bug that prevented the underground jungle seeds from respawning, or from spawning. Using a cloud in the bottle now correctly resets the full distance, which is nice. Set bonuses provide more defense now correctly match up their tooltip, so they match the tooltip now. That's good. I have noticed actually that the uh, defense is much better now. I don't know if you noticed that. I think they what they said was like they put too much defense for the bonus, but they really didn't uh, do that much. Okay. Maybe. So we got uh, all armor inventory icons have been improved. Have we noticed that? Have we noticed? Yeah, that? with Thanks. um with the uh, meteorite armor, Thanks. everything looks different. Yeah. Um, as you can see, the the armor's improved a little. Um, so yeah, so we got uh, slightly different graphics for the armor and stuff, which is nice. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna switch out to the necro armor. And let you have a look at that. We showed you the jungle armor earlier, so that was new, new armor. This is like some of the old stuff, but it's got a new skin job. So yeah, that's what the new armor looks like, guys. I look funky. And, uh, yeah, so that's what they've done with that. That's good. We welcome that. Uh, let's see what else What else have we got. What else is new in Terraria? We got a um, Iron Gold Meteor and, yeah, Necro Helmets have been changed. So it's just the helmets, actually. So just the helmets on that one. We've got Molten Armor's overall defense has been reduced, which kind of sucks. Oh, well. I guess it was overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> We got Meteor Armor set bonus now reduces Space Gun mana cost to zero. So Meteor Armor reduces Space Gun mana to zero. That's pretty awesome. So your Space Gun, when you're wearing uh, that armor, re zero. That's why you get so many shots. Yeah, I did I did notice that. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so that's, that's awesome. Uh, several mani magic items have had their damage increased, which is very good because we love to use magical attacks. So much more fun. Um, there's two new rare enemies that can be both found underground. We only found the dead miner. We only found the yep. dead miner. We didn't find the other one. I wonder what it is. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, the the um, demolitionist 
pops up now if you have sticky bombs and grenades in your inventory. So basically you need to be looting chests and pots and stuff for your grenades. And of course you can uh, get bombs from there as well and then you combine it with some gel and you've got sticky bombs. So that's that's a lot easier I think. Uh, all skeleton graphics have been changed. They now look like mummies. What do you think they look like, Alex? They look... They're mummies? Well, they look like mummies to me or something, you know. I thought they were just bald people. Yeah. With blue <laughs> shirts on. <laughs> yeah, they, they look weird. I think we liked the old skeletons better, didn't we? Yeah, they look yeah. cool. At least yeah. they look like... At least they look like skeletons. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The guide now has hit and death effects, so your guide can die on you, which nobody really cares about, I think. <laughs> and no. he can now be he can now be killed by hostile NPCs, which is always funny. It's good for a yeah. laugh anyway. Trees can now become corrupt instead of being destroyed when being touched by the corruption, so we got new corrupt trees now. We could show them that. Yeah, we we could we could show you that, but uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Wow. Maybe maybe not. Okay, yeah, the big update is with the server and multiplayer. Uh, created console server with no video card requirement. Apparently, type help in the console for a full list of server commands. So you got full list of server commands now. So that's really great. But um, yeah. So anyway, um. Clients are now able to connect to ports other than uh, quadruple seven, so that's cool. That's always handy if um, someone's got an objection to that port or something. Yeah. Sl slimes are synced better on multiplayer games. Um, we we never no we never noticed that. We never maybe noticed. they just um, spawned more too frequently in the very beginning, so yeah. now they adjust more to like when you have more health, more will succumb. Versus yeah. like when we when we remember when we first played we got just slammed with them mm. and I made a giant box to survive. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that's that's really good. We got a bit more um, bit more sinking. It's always nice. They fixed a bug that would cause a player to get stuck on receiving data when they uh, when the spawn is placed near the world edge apparently. So good that they fixed that. That must have been annoying for some people. Yeah. <laughs> They've added uh, dash join, dash port, and uh, dash passport uh, pass command. So you can you can set that apparently in your console. Uh, we haven't actually found the console yet. We will find it though. Dang it. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. We'll, we'll look it up sometime, but uh, you know, hey. Okay guys, one of the major updates in this one is how Terraria takes care of its server, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, basically, um, if you want to host a server, but you, you, do, you don't have to use the host and play option, that's the great thing about it. You can do the host and play option if you want a really simple option, but you can also uh, run a separate server file, which is awesome. Okay guys, so... You basically want to get into program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, and then Terraria. And in Terraria, you'll find a new file called Terraria Server, which is awesome. You run that little thing there, and you get a box like this, right? And it'll ask you all the information and stuff on how to set up a server and stuff. And you just put in your information, put set your password, all that usual stuff. And uh, what's awesome is when you hit help, you get this lovely list of commands. You can kick people now. You can ban people, which is awesome. You can reset the password. You can display the in-game time. Set the port. You know, all these lovely new things you can do with the server. So that's absolutely amazing. And uh, this is a minor content patch, guys. Not a major one, but a minor one. So you can imagine what a major content patch is going to be like. You know, so we're very impressed with the changes so far. Uh, when you ban someone, it creates banlist.txt in your game folder. So you'll know who's been banned. And you can also edit it manually to remove anyone who gets banned. So that's pretty That's pretty damn awesome. Um, I think that's everything, guys. So, yeah, that's everything to do with um, the server that's going on. I just thought I'd show you how it works. Uh, the game window is now resizable, which is awesome. 
Um, I think that's a really nice feature they've incorporated. As is the full screen resolution can now be changed in the options menu. That is fantastic. I can now record in 1080p, guys. <laughs> I wasn't able to before. I could only get 720p, but now I can get 1080p on Terraria. So, as you can imagine, I'm happy. <laughs> you were all like, oh, cool, it's so small. I can upload so much faster. And now you're like, yay, longer <laughs> upload time. Please. But at least better quality for the fans. Yeah. That's what we're committed to, quality for the fans. Yeah. So, let's see what else we got. We got uh, pressing Alt and Enter to toggle full screen mode now will no longer bring up the chat window. So that's that's always a plus, isn't that? Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, fix several bugs that would crush the game during world generation. So, bravo for that. Good job. So yeah, that's that's all the changes, guys. So we're we're having a blast. We're enjoying it a lot. This uh, game's amazing. It is. It is. Look we, at my we... tree. Look at my flipping tree. <laughs> the beautiful tree. So yeah, we really hope that they keep up with these awesome patch updates. Uh, Minecraft's have been been a bit slack with nice updates lately. So this is a lot welcome that uh, they're doing so many changes with each update. That's awesome. So yeah, um, I think that's everything. Thanks for joining us for our uh, patch 3 update. And uh, yeah, so uh, stay tuned. We'll soon be bringing you videos with uh, with our friends uh, who come onto the server. As I said, if you do want to join us on the server, just pop on my Facebook. Link's in my uh, sidebar there. And uh, you can also just search on Facebook for a Realist Reviewer. So yeah, so please rate and subscribe guys, subscribe to both of us, and we'll see you next time.